here we are in conversation with the Chief Technology Officer at Panamax, Mr. J. J. Simha. Panamax has recently shifted their focus into developing their mobile financial solution range and recently launched the Mobifin Elite at MWC Barcelona 2019. Mr. J. Simha lent his vision into developing the product in terms of its capabilities, performance and architecture. Hello and welcome Jay. Thank you. It's a nice it's a pleasure to, to be here. Thank you very much. Uh, Jay, while the market for uh, fintech services has been alive and running for uh, the past couple of years, what compelled you to drive further in this domain? Yes, you are right. Uh, Panamax is not a stranger to the fintech industry. In fact, we have a first generation product that's competing with the who is who in the markets today. We understand that the market are all going mainstream. There are a number of new verticals and uh, segments coming into play. And we feel that the time is right to launch a well thought out product that can work well for our customers. The industry is looking for killer apps, but we have turned our focus towards that the customers can innovate upon. And perhaps lurking therein may be one or more killer services or killer apps that are waiting to emerge. We have very diligently taken stock of the mobile money industry which is dominated by the mobile wallet use cases today. We looked at the current use cases, we looked at the future possibilities, and uh, we looked at the customer segments, like be it uh, the uh, operators or banks or financial service providers or the governments or the retailers, etc. We looked at what matters most to them. What they really wanted was a platform that will work well for them for a long time to come, a platform that will evolve a platform that will help uh, them evolve their businesses and a platform that is secure that they can take mainstream. You mentioned about uh, the considerable amount of experience that Panamax is the, in the industry and also I'm sure Panamax has done a lot of market research before getting into a head, uh, ahead with, in this domain. So what according to you are the challenges that the customers face uh, when providing a secure financial experience for their users? There are a number of concerns and requirements that were raised by the customers and definitely topping the list there is security and then second comes usability then there are concerns and requirements about flexibility and scalability security is a very vast area and it includes several topics from authentications to authorizations to local data storage to data in transit etc let's look at each one of these Authentication has become a subject of extreme importance. In platforms such as uh, Mobifin Elite or in general uh, e-commerce or online e-commerce platforms, we store a number of user accounts. Now there are identities that stake claim to these user accounts and there are subscribers that take stake claim to these um, identities. When these bindings between these uh, subscribers and their identity and consequently the identities to the user accounts is broken, then we consider the platform as compromised. And it provides fertile grounds for perpetrators of fraud to come in. Authentication is a process of validating a subscriber's claim to an identity. And this can take several forms. One, there is something that the subscriber owns, and this could be a device. It could be a mobile device, it could be a laptop, or it could be a USB device. Then, there is something that the subscriber knows, and these could be passwords, pins, or it could be um, uh, answers to secret questions, etc. Then there is third, which is the subscribers themselves, and this is their biometry. It could be fingerprints, or be retinal scans, etc. Now, PSD2 regulations have mandated that for strong subscriber authentications, we need to provide at least two of these about three. Then there is a security aspect related to the local data storage. And here what we need is very strong encryption mechanisms. There are several regulatory bodies and uh, certification bodies such as the PADSs or the PCI DSs, etc. that overlook these aspects. The other aspect is uh, securing the data in transit. And here we need extremely strong encryption mechanisms or extremely strong digital signature mechanisms in order to protect this data in transit. 
The next aspect that is very important for the customers is the usability aspect. Here, the customer is expecting a platform that is easy to run, that is easy to manage, that they can get actionable insights from without deploying an army of staff to run the operations. The fundamental requirement here is to limit the OPEX exposure of the customer. The next aspect relates to the flexibility of the platform. Flexibility to uh, provide various flavors of an existing service. Flexibility to provide new services with a controllable time to market. And the flexibility to change the configurations depending upon the business needs. For example, there could be certain complex commissioning calculations. And based on the business needs, these cal calculations may have to be changed. The source of where these commissions are coming from may need to be changed or the destination to where these commissions need to be paid may need to be changed. And these kind of business requirements evolve and they, they come you know, on a very periodic basis. And what the customer is looking for is a platform that will help them to make these configuration changes without impacting the system and help their business continuity. Last but not the least, there is a scalability aspect. Here, the customer is expecting a high-scale platform in terms of the transactions per second count, in terms of high concurrent number of users in the platform. And all of these need to be provided in a very small footprint and at a significantly reduced TCO. So these are some of the requirements that the customers have come up with and they are prioritized in this order. We have taken these requirements and we have created a very healthy roadmap and we went down the path of creating a very sound architecture, design and infrastructure to bring a product to life that captures these requirements and that can work well for our customers. Jay, you spoke about uh, security as a focal point of any fintech product. So what are the security measures and authentication processes that you've put in place for Mobifin Elite? Yes, as we discussed earlier, security is definitely on the top of the priority uh, on the customer's list of uh, requirements. We are one of the very few platforms in the industry today that have implemented the elliptical curve cryptography security system. Now ECC is uh, very superior when compared to the traditional RSA mechanisms. For example, a 256-bit ECC can provide the same cryptographic strength as a 3072-bit RSA. A 512-bit ECC provides the same security that a 15,360-bit RSA provides. In addition to this cryptographic strength, ECC also runs much more efficiently when compared to the RSA by a factor of 1000. Also, the CPU consumption of the uh, ECC is much better when compared to the RSA. And also the bandwidth utilization is much less compared to the RSA, which makes ECC uh, an ideal uh, implementation for mobile devices and the uh, resource constrained IoT devices. The other significant advantage of the ECC is that there is no need for exchange of keys as is required in the traditional symmetric key cryptography systems. The Mobifin Elite mobile applications implement ECC for encryption and decryption of the payload that is sent between the mobile applications and the Mobifin Elite Core uh, platform. In addition, ECC consumes much lower CPU and bandwidth utilization that makes it ideal for mobile applications and resource constrained IoT devices. We have also discussed earlier about the importance of authentication in fighting fraud. So in the Mobifin Elite platform, we have implemented user authentications, we have implemented device authentications, user authorizations, API authentications and API authorizations. And we have provided significant security obstacles for unauthorized access into our system. In addition, all the local data storage, whether it's on the mobile devices or web panels or the Mobifin Elite Core, is all secure and strongly encrypted in order to protect the customer data. All in all, the Mobifin Elite platform provides a very strong security implementation in order to protect our customer data as well as access to our system.
The vitals of any technology product, as you mentioned, are usability, scalability, flexibility, and intelligence. So how have these been integrated into the Mobifin Elite architecture to make it one of its kind? In the Mobifin Elite platform, there are three broad areas of operation. On the incoming side, we have what we call the adapter layer. And the adapter layer exposes the APIs for the clients and subscribers to consume. This is the place where the clients access the system from by invoking the APS that have been advertised. Now the flexibility that we provide in the adapter layer uh, allows for dynamic corrections of the errors in the APIs if they happen to come in. And this attempt to fix these errors is a process what we call as the API parameter enrichment. The client is then notified of these API violations so that this can be fixed at the source. The advantage to the customer is that there is no loss of revenues which would have otherwise resulted in due to the transaction failures owing to the um, uh, errors in the APIs. The second area of operation is the core transaction processing area and this is where we have built a significant amount of innovation into. The core transaction processing functionality is one of the most complex parts of the system and this is where all the magic happens. And due to the complex nature of this core transaction processing functionality, most of the implementations today are very monolithic implementations. And what we did was we broke away from this uh, practice and we have implemented what the industry calls the microservices architecture. In the case of the Mobifin Elite platform, since this is a transaction infrastructure framework, I would rather call this as a micro-component architecture instead, as we have decomposed this complex transaction processing functionality into fundamental uh, components which talk to each other over a very robust messaging infrastructure We have well-defined messages. Each of these components implement very dynamically configurable state machines, execution flows, service building blocks, and you can chain them in any way, shape, or form in order to create custom transaction flows. The extreme advantage and the flexibility that this provides to the customer is the ability to create highly customized service flows. So you can take one particular service and you can implement them in different service flows and provide different flavors of their service. The micro-component architecture implements several concurrency patterns which results in an extremely uh, concurrent system and the effect of that is the efficiency in scale and performance of the product. The micro-component uh, architecture implementation follows several concurrency design patterns and this allows for extreme concurrency which results in efficiencies of scale and performance. The other significant advantage that the core transaction agent provides is the capability to provide multi-tiered hierarchical multi-tenancy system. Traditional multi-tenancy systems uh, provide boundaries across the operator tenants that are sharing that infrastructure. But in the case of Mobifin Elite, We provide these tenancy boundaries within an operator partition across several layers in the hierarchy of this operator implementation. And this is very unique in the industry to provide such sophisticated level of multi-tenancy in the platform. And this opens up the possibility for, possibilities for several uh, innovations for, for the customers. The third area of operation is on the outgoing side which is interfacing with the vendors and other third-party agencies such as the banks, payment gateways, card providers, access gateways, etc. Traditionally, new vendor API integration calls for code changes. And this is a time-consuming process because it takes several days to design, develop, test and deploy these uh, new vendor integrations. With the Mobifin Elite system, These vendor integrations can be dynamically achieved by defining these APIs, by assigning data 
to these API parameters from the vast transaction pool of data that we have and dynamically instantiating these APIs into the running system. This results in significant savings in time for the customer and provides the ultimate flexibility for third-party integrations. With this type of flexibility built into the platform, the customer can now provision new services by manipulating the incoming uh, adapter API by advertising new APIs by manipulating the core transaction microcomponent elements such as the state machines, the execution flows, the service meeting blocks, etc. and by manipulating the vendor integration side by offering new vendor integrations. This is how our vision is that the customer will be able to launch new services using this platform and the flexibility that we are providing without taking the platform down. This provides the ultimate usability, flexibility and scalability for the customers as per their requirements. The launch of uh, Mobifin Elite at the MWC went very well and congratulations for that. Thank you. Uh, the product has already gained a lot of repute in the market and also gained the confidence of the customers. So uh, what do you think in store from here on for Mobifin Elite? Yes, when we launched the product uh, at the Mobile World Congress, there was tremendous interest by several customers from across different verticals. I think what was really grasped their attention was the security aspects. And it seems to be like one of the most important things in the customer's priority list. We had a very good response from the customers and we are very excited about how the customer perceived the Mobifin Elite platform. I would look at the Mobifin Elite platform the architecture and the design as a living and breathing entity that can evolve and grow into several directions based on the industry's needs. We are also already seeing the transition from business intelligence to artificial intelligence, the need for uh, machine learning, deep learning, etc. Our involvement into the payment processing side and some of the B2C service areas have pre presented us very interesting use cases and necessitates us to go into blockchain and tangle based extensions to our core platform. Thank you very much Jay, that was very helpful. Thank you. Stay tuned for more exciting updates on Mobifin Elite. Thank you very much.